This video shows a fire test conducted at an accredited testing institute to test the spread of fire through decks with PEH, PVC, PPFR, and PP plastic pipes installed. We also installed three popular brands of heat-activated fire seals in the upper as well as in the lower deck. As a reference, we installed an incombustible material, a Blucher Europipe stainless steel pipe. The test was carried out as an A60 construction test following the standard fire test procedures and the demands for test construction. The test specimen itself includes three decks on board a vessel. The upper deck, level 3, which is unexposed, the mid deck, level 2, where the fire progresses, and the lower deck, level 1, which is also unexposed. The fire test has just been started as we take a look at the three decks. On the upper deck, you can see the different plastic pipes and fire seals. Now four minutes have passed, and we can already see toxic smoke from the plastic pipes on the upper deck. And just after five minutes and 48 seconds, the PP pipe creates melting droplets falling to the lower deck. Shortly after, the PVC pipes on the upper deck are emitting heavy colored toxic smoke containing prussic acid. After eight and a half minutes, smoke is also created in the lower deck along with melting droplets of plastic. And the pipes going through the upper deck have started to melt and deform. The development of toxic smoke is now very significant. We see the first sign of fire in the lower deck after 9 minutes and 38 seconds. The smoke is developing rapidly and there are melting droplets from both the PP and the PEH pipes. And then, after 9 minutes and 49 seconds, we see the first burning droplet from the PP pipe. Shortly after, we also see burning droplets from the PEH pipe. And after 10 minutes and 46 seconds, we see the first fire blow out from the PP pipe. The fire also penetrates the heat activated fire seal outside the PP pipe. The smoke and the burning droplets show that at this time, the heat activated fire seals have not yet closed towards the lower deck. Meanwhile, on the upper deck, it seems the heat activated fire seals are now starting to work. The smoke starts to decrease. However, the plastic pipes are still melting and deforming. Just over 11 minutes have passed as the burning droplets from several pipes create fires below. So the heat activated fire seals still haven't worked towards the lower deck. And at this point, one of the PP pipes has nearly burnt away close to the deck and is about to fall down. You can see here in the close-up that burning plastic droplets are still dripping from the mid-deck. Meanwhile, the toxic smoke is still increasing and most of the participants will now be forced to wear breathing equipment to avoid serious damage to their lungs and airways. Just over 16 minutes have passed as a waterfall of burning plastic from the PEH pipes creates a flashover. Thirty minutes into the test, many of the plastic pipes are gone in the lower deck. The remains are burning on the floor. You will see that just before the hour, the last plastic pipes catch fire, starting from the deck penetration. It seems that for these pipes, the fire seal eventually worked.
we can see that the Blucher pipe is practically unharmed, only blackened by the smoke. Now, the conclusion from this test is that the FTP code doesn't consider a fire spread downwards. The tests are always carried out with fire exposure below the test objects. Unfortunately, this test also demonstrated that the heat activated fire seals do not protect against fire spread downwards. They simply do not close in time if they close at all. The test demonstrates that plastic material is highly flammable and quickly creates toxic smoke and it should be considered a potential high risk for passenger safety on board.